Welcome to this brief tutorial of the Iron Condor stock option strategy. An Iron Condor is a neutral strategy and works best when the market does not move up or down too much. An Iron Condor consists of a bull put credit spread and a bear call credit spread. A profit and loss diagram for an Iron Condor looks like this. The lower wing of an Iron Condor consists of a bull put credit spread which is a bullish strategy and combines a short put option and a long put option for a net credit. A put option gives the buyer the right but not the obligation to th sell the stock at a certain price over a certain time period. A profit and loss diagram for the bull put credit spread looks like this. The upper wing of an iron condor consists of a bear call credit spread, which is a bearish strategy and combines a short call option and a long call option for a net credit. The buyer of a call option has the right, but not the obligation, to buy the stock at a certain price over a certain time period. A profit and loss diagram for the bear call credit spread looks like this. In the general case, the margin requirement for an iron condor is the combined margin requirement for the bull put credit spread and the bear call credit spread. The margin requirement for the bull put credit spread is shown on this slide. The margin requirement for the bear call credit spread is shown on this slide. In some cases, brokers provide special margin requirements for iron condors since it is impossible to simultaneously sustain a loss for the bull put credit spread and the bear call credit spread. Based on this, some brokers allow the margin requirements for iron condors to be the largest margin requirement of either the bull put credit spread or the bear call credit spread. Some brokers have more restrictive requirements for access to iron condor special margin. For example, some brokers require the differences between the strike prices for the bull put credit spread and the bear call credit spread to be identical in order to take advantage of special margin. Traders can realize tax advantages when trading iron condors in taxable accounts for indexes. Trading broad-based index options can qualify for the IRS's Section 1256 contracts mark to market. Generally, capital gains from stock or stock option investments held less than one year are considered short-term, and those held longer than one year are considered long-term. However, according to the IRS's Section 1266 under the mark-to-market system, 60% of a capital gain or loss may be treated as a long-term capital gain or loss, and 40% may be treated as a, as a short-term capital gain or loss, even if the position was held for less than a year. The ramification of this rule is that the capital gains or losses considered to be long-term have lower marginal tax rates than short-term capital gains or losses. Depending on an investor's tax bracket, the tax savings realized from the 60-40 rule can represent tax savings in the neighborhood of 12%. Rolling an iron condor position can be an effective method for increasing return. Generally, the underlying equity moves after initial entry of the iron condor position. The wing of the iron condor, which the market moves away from, becomes profitable after the underlying equity moves only a few percentage points. The movement of the equity's price allows an iron condor position to be rolled, realizing increased profit without significantly increasing the risk of the position. Power Options Applied provides a 30-day free trial of its Iron Condor newsletter services. Iron Condor positions are selected and published to subscribers. Iron Condor positions are managed for rolling and for closing. Subscribe now for a 30-day free trial of Power Options Applied.